Come on, Soda Pop, let's go. For competitive swimming, the sport of swimming, and also for those very avid swimmers, the one that I look at with just astonishment and dismay because I'm not one of them. Uh, but I do uh, honor the fact that this is first and foremost a community pool, and that will be my effort in moving forward. I want to also honor my community neighborhood citizens who expressed some of them concern about what is it going to look like? Will it be aesthetically pleasing? Will it complement the park or detract from it? So I want my message to be uh, on this committee that we must honor the aesthetics of our community, our neighborhood, and honor the aesthetics of the park in the process. And third, I want to honor the fact that many, many informed voters had an opportunity to see conceptual plans as they made their decision to vote the way they did in order for this to come forward. And I want to honor them by assuring and, and moving forward with a concept coming to fruition that has the characteristics, the features, and the aesthetics that were given in that concept plan. I look forward to this. I bring that neighborhood status with me, and I say that early on in this process, I said, you know, I don't even like to swim, but I know that I must. And as a, a, a senior living now in this neighborhood, it's going to be so exciting to have it close to home. Thank you. Thanks, Margaret, for those great comments. Uh, another person that we have that will be serving on the committee is Andrew Beadle. Andrew would like to say something. Remarks as well. Yeah. Hi, my name is Andy Beadle, and I'm a registered nurse, as the board indicates, and I specialize in orthopedics and rehab services to all age groups, but primarily the elderly. I became interested in serving on the aquatic focus group after speaking to representatives from Sioux Falls Park and Recreation Department. They informed me that health and fitness is an important part of their mission with this new aquatic center. Currently, they have a specialized water walking program at the Drake Springs Aquatic Complex during the summer months. The participation in this program has been high and the health fitness benefits are simply amazing. They want to incorporate this program into the new aquatic center I look forward to adding my expertise in aquatic exercise and rehabilitation to assist the Park and Recreations Department achieve their, de their desired outcomes of promoting health and fitness with this new outdoor, or, I'm sorry, <laughs> indoor facility. Thank you. <laughs> and that's all I have. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate it. Uh, once again, we'd like to thank everybody that uh, applied. Uh, especially thank those uh, 12 members that, that applied and were selected, along with our park board and city council representatives. So with that, I'll be glad to take any questions. Yeah. Now, I, uh, why so many people, why a committee has um, been formed to look at this? Uh, I, 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 you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but other, in years past when we've developed built new pools, was there this kind of involvement? You know, we, uh, uh, in the past, for example, when we built Drake Springs Pool, uh, we did have what was called a design charrette, and so we had a two-day uh, opportunity for people to stop by throughout the course of two days to provide feedback on the, on the preliminary designs that were put together for that particular facility. I think in this case, uh, because uh, uh, it is such a, it is our first new indoor aquatic center that we would be building, um, I think it's important to have that focus committee with a cross-section of background and experiences uh, to help us shape the ultimate design of the facility. And so I do think it's unique in this particular case uh, because of uh, the, the scope of this project. Want to do it right the first time? Yeah, we definitely yeah. want to do it the right, right the first time. And uh, uh, you know, there's a lot going on in this particular design. Uh, there'll be dozens and dozens of pages of plans to review. Uh, and so we just want to get the perspective in a, in a focus way working with our design team uh, to really uh, come up with a really great product. Other questions? Yes. The, uh, why was it announced last week that plans were going to be announced for the design uh, 
they were going to be released next week. And why did it take since uh, November, since it was announced that you were forming this committee, why did it take since November to get uh, these people chosen who, uh, and why, to throw it in on that, why is it such a selected group as you have here without having, say, the vets or other neighborhood people that have a very passionate interest in how the park stays? Well, uh, we actually do have a veteran that is, a, is one of the committee members. Uh, but uh, again, we were trying to provide a, a diverse background, a, a background uh, of these folks that really represent the, the Sioux Falls community. Um, we wanted to make sure that there was a community focus on it. Uh, and so as far as the process goes, I think that it's just a matter of, uh, you know, giving people an ample opportunity to apply for the position and uh, to be able to serve and then ultimately, uh, you know, making those selections and then announcing these individuals and then ultimately leading up to this press conference today. Other questions? What's the price tag again? Uh, and when should, should it be completed by? Uh, the completion date is uh, scheduled for the fall of 2016, and then um, on next Tuesday we'll be reviewing the plans and uh, the cost estimates uh, based on those schematic design uh, plans uh, at next Tuesday's informational period. Other questions? Okay, well, thank you for all uh, attending, and uh, again, congratulations to everybody that selected. Appreciate your time. Come on, Soda Pop, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. <laughs>